the Chicago Bulls, number 23, Michael Jordan. He's blessed with so many God-given abilities, and then his own self-drive to make him even better than that is something that takes him off the scale. He is the most tenacious competitor. Add that to his physical gifts, and he has a sense of history and a sense of what his legacy can be if he keeps pushing it. Michael on the drive. Oh. The oh. Right by everybody with the left hand. Something compelling about this guy, so likable, uh, so dignified and classy, and yet with the athletic heart of an assassin. Tell me I can no longer fly. I don't want you to. It's not how hard you push along the way. It's having something in you to finish. Michael Jordan had regained his place as the NBA's preeminent player. He had recaptured the title and achieved one of sports' greatest comebacks. But as usual, he was intent on achieving even more. And against the Utah Jazz in the finals, he continued to display the many different ways he could lead a team. MJ, top of the circle, against Russell. Michael, hangs, fires, scores! Yeah. Knocking it at Bullsworth! He knocking it at the buzzer, Bullsworth! How many times has he done that? Following his Game 1 heroics, Jordan would provide a different kind of drama in Game 5. Weakened by a stomach virus, he would keep the Bulls in the game through sheer will and determination. As a leader, you want to be there for your team. As long as I'm able to walk and run and shoot, I've always been there sick, you know, it didn't matter. With the score tied in the final minute, an exhausted Jordan would summon his strength and deliver the crushing blow. Back Michael, open three, yes! Oh. They lead it! 38 points for the King! Sure. The Katagor at him with a three! Yes! That he gave his day was unbelievable, you know, and his teammates, we really appreciate the way that he steps up and shows his leadership for our ball club. With Michael winning his fifth Finals MVP award, the Bulls captured their fifth title. But even in their moment of triumph, one question lingered. How much longer would Jordan play? Do you think you guys will get together and do it all again? Uh, tough question to ask us right now. We're just enjoying Enjoy what we're yourself. doing. Celebrate. Go ahead and celebrate. Yes. With rumors swirling of his impending retirement, the 1998 season took on an air of finality for Jordan. Throughout the league, crowds turned out in record numbers to witness what was dubbed the last dance. Embracing his role as the game's ambassador, Michael's popularity had never been higher, and his aura never greater. He was the focus of attention all season long, and each night he would leave fans with a performance to remember. Lots of guys are strong, and lots of guys have skill, and only one guy has this level of artistry. At the All-Star Game in New York, he would capture MVP honors for the third time. I'm only going to allow him to have his trophy if he promises to come back and do it again. And with Michael driving the Bulls, they were taking aim at yet another NBA championship. You don't find leaders like that in this game. You don't find people that want to practice and lead and practice as well as in games. Though it was to be his final season, he never wavered from his own lofty standards of excellence, continuing to perform in his incomparable style. His game is beautiful to watch, not just effective in an athletic sense, but theatrically he is beautiful. He has that presence, there's something about him. Kittles against Jordan, knocked away, stolen by Michael. MJ on the run. Michael dumps the ball and a foul. Oh my. I've seen every basket that Michael's made as a professional. You think you see him do something he's done before. And then you say, no, this is something he made up, it's different. I just find myself as a fan jumping out of my seat. At the age of 35, Jordan became the oldest player ever to win the league's MVP award.
capturing the honor for the fifth time. And in a rematch with Utah in the NBA Finals, he was as spectacular as ever, bringing the Bulls to the brink of their sixth title of the decade. Oh, there! Michael with a hang time move. But with Chicago leading three games to two, he would save one of his most remarkable performances for last. In game six in Utah, the Bulls trailed by three with less than a minute to play. Facing a critical moment, Michael would add a stirring final chapter to his legend. Out front to the man, Michael Jordan. Jordan up top, fake left, go right. He's there, lay it up, score it easily. Wow. Throughout his career, he had answered every challenge. And with his resolve tested once again, Jordan would respond as he had done so often before. Stockton inside of Carmelo, they double it. Jordan knocks it away from him. Jordan's got it. The Bulls can win it right here. The Bulls can win it. Unbelievable. And now all that remained was to provide the perfect exclamation point. 16 seconds left. Bulls down one. Michael against Russell. 12 seconds. 11. 10. Jordan. Jordan a drive. Hangs. Fires. Yes! Yeah! He scores! The Bulls lead 87-86. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship in the last eight years. Oh my God, that was beautiful. What a beautiful. This God. legend just, just holy he's cow. It's been remarkable. What? what a joy to watch. It, that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. I am here to, to announce my retirement from the game of basketball. For the second time in his career, Michael Jordan caps a championship three-peat with retirement. His poster hangs on walls in remote Chinese villages. They try to imitate his moves in small town gyms everywhere. I chose to walk away knowing that you know, I can still play the game. And that's what I've always wished for, you know, for my career to end. You know, that, that's exactly the way I wanted to end it. And every athlete's dream is to have a career like his and, and finish with a championship and making your last shots. Michael just seems to have almost a little magic with him. That's exciting. It's fun to watch. And, and it, uh, it's stuff that, you know, legends are made of. way he's carried himself and what he's done for, for this sport in general and for, for people, he's allowed them to dream. You know, people really didn't want to believe a man could actually fly and he gave everyone that belief that for a little bit, maybe they could. This guy was a, a, just an icon, he, he's a one-man show and uh, how much we're gonna miss him, you can't even say in words. Yeah, I guess what impresses me the most is, is that he's determined to be Michael Jordan every night. I never got the impression that he threw his shoes out or sent his uniform out there and took the night off. In my life, I don't know that I ever saw another athlete with such a remarkable set of qualities of mind, body, and spirit. He's an American original. If a friend from Europe comes to me and says, I'm in your country, what do I see? I would say, well, go to the Grand Canyon and take a river trip down it for a couple days and go to Chicago and watch Michael Jordan play. He's who we are.
player in the game today. Let's go, keep your head, everybody get together. Let's go, let's go, eh? Right there, dog. Right there to you. He is absolutely the best. You gotta love it. You gotta love it.